Howdy, it's Crystal again. Today I want to show you how to make this little snail bag. Um, I call it a pillow bag because it's like would be something that your child would use for a, a slumber party or something. It's real, I made it really soft so it can be used as a pillow. And then I sewed the zipper in the top here so they can put their clothes and whatever they want to put in it. There's this little face. And it was it was pretty easy. It, you know, it did take me though a uh, good whole day, maybe part of another one to finish it though. But it was worth it. It's really cute. So let's go ahead and get started on it. For this project, I'm going to be using a size I9, or it's a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to start off with a slip knot. Now we need to do a chain of three, and then we're going to slip stitch in the very first chain to form a ring, just like that. Now we're going to do a chain three, and this is going to count as a double crochet, and the chain three is going to count as a double crochet all throughout this project. So we need to do a total of 12 double crochets through the center of the ring counting that chain three so we're going to need 11 more so I yarned over and I stuck my needle through the center of the ring and I'm going to grab my yarn and pull it through and I'm going to have three loops on my hook so I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two I'm going to yarn over and go through the second two so that's our second double crochet count in this. So I'm going to yarn over and go through the ring again. Grab my yarn, pull it up, and I'm going to have three loops on my hook. So I want to yarn over and go through the first two, and yarn over and go through the second two. So now I have three. So I'm going to do it again. Yarn over, go through the ring, grab a loop, pull it up, three loops on my hook, yarn over and go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. So counting that chain three, I have four. So I'm going to yarn over and go straight through the ring again, grab the yarn, pull it through, three loops on my hook, yarn over and go through the first two, and then the second two. I'm going through the ring again, grabbing my yarn and pulling it back through. Three loops on my hook. Yarn over and go through the first two and the second two. So I have a total of six double crochets counting this chain three. So I need to do six more. Okay, that's a total of seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and there's twelve. Counting the chain three, I have twelve. Okay, if I pull my tail, I should be able to make that pull it real tight, that center a little bit smaller. Okay, now I want to slip stitch into the that chain three, that very first chain three I made, the very top stitch of it, just like that. Now I want to do another chain three. This is going to count as a double crochet. And now I'm doing two double crochet in every stitch around. So this is my first one, so I'm going to go back into that same stitch and do another one. And that's two for that stitch. So I'm going to move to the next stitch, which is right here. And I'm going to do two double crochets in that stitch.
And then the next one is going to be two doubles. Two doubles in the next. What we're doing is we're just gradually increasing the size of our circle. As long as you keep doing increases in your round of circles, it'll always lay flat. But when you stop doing increases and start to just do one single crochet in every stitch, that's when it starts to turn and go inward like, like you'd be making a hat. But we want a flat piece for now, so we're just going to continue to do increases. And on this round we're doing two double crochets in every stitch. Okay, I'm at the end here. Now I'm going to switch colors here because I'm going to do two rows of each color that I do. But if you want to keep the same color, you can. If not, I'll show you how to switch it. So normally we would just slip stitch through this top chain and pull our color through, our first color. But now we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. But instead of pulling that same color through, we're going to pull our new color through. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip this one. So I'm not going to need it anymore. Now I'm going to get my new color. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull it through. And slip, can just finish my slip stitch with it. And I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to tie a knot. So it doesn't come undone. Just like that. And then you can start with your new color. And I'm going to hide these tails as I go. If you want to sew them in at the end, it's up to you. So for this round, we're going to do a chain three again. Two, three. Counts as a double crochet. Now, we're going to do one double crochet in one stitch, and then two double crochets in the next. One double in the next, then two in the next. So that's going to be our sequence for this round. So this counts as my first double crochet. So in the next stitch, I want to do two double crochets and I am hiding this as these strings as I go so I'm just putting them on top there and hiding them like that so I want to do another double crochet in that same stitch and then I want to move to the next stitch and I just want to do one double crochet in that stitch and then I'm going to move to this next one and I want to do two double crochets in this stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to move to my next one and just do one double crochet in that stitch. And the next one is going to get two double crochets in the same stitch. One in the next and then two in the next after that. One and then two in the next. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around until I get back to my beginning stitch. Back here to my last stitch and if you do your counting right every round you should always end. Your last stitch should always be an increase. And mine is. So I know I did that round right. So now I'm going to slip stitch into my beginning chain three. 
and close that round off. Now I'm going to chain three again, counts as a double crochet. And now my sequence is going to be one double crochet in one stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochets after that. So here's my first one. So I'm going to go to the next stitch and do a double. So that makes two double crochets in the next two stitches. So in the third one, I'm going to do two double crochets in the same stitch. Just like that. So I'm going to do in the next one, one double crochet. One double crochet in the next. And then two double crochets in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, and then two double crochets in the next. One double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, and then two double crochets in the next. So go ahead and repeat that sequence all the way around. One double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochets all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around and, I'm gonna, and I ended in an increase like I was supposed to. Right, there was two in that last stitch. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch colors again. So I'm going to slip stitch into my beginning chain 3. I'm not going to pull out this green yarn. I'm going to clip it. I'm going to pull out my new color. And just finish off that slip stitch with the new color. And then I'm going to put a little knot in the back. To hold it. And then I'm just going to continue with my new color. I'm going to do a chain three. Three. Now my sequence is going to be one double crochet in the next three stitches and then two double crochets in the next. So this one counts as one. Go to the next stitch. There's two double crochets and the next one is going to be three double crochets in a row and then and the fourth one is going to be two double crochets in the same stitch. There's one and two. Okay, so one double crochet, one in each of the next three stitches. There's two, three, and then two double crochets together in the fourth stitch. And I'll show you, you're always increasing. Here's the increases that we've done so far. See how there's two in each one of them stitches? You're always increasing on the last stitch of the increase in the previous row. See, here's two and I increased on this stitch. Here's this in increase from the previous round and I'm increasing on this last stitch. So, I'm just going to continue over. That's a good way to watch, you know, to make sure you're doing it in the right spot. It's always going to be like that. So here's one, two, three in a row, and then my increase, right here's my increase from the previous round, is going to be right here on the last stitch from the increase in the previous round. So there, I'm going to put two in it. And it's going to be like that in every, every stitch is always going to be like that. If you do it right. So go ahead and continue that round where you have three double crochets in a row and then and the next stitch is two double crochets in the same stitch. 
I am coming back around and I'm going to slip stitch into my beginning chain three to close this round off. Just like that. Now I'm going to do a chain three again. Counts as my double. And then the sequence is going to be four double crochets on each of the next one in each of the next four stitches and then the double in the fifth. So this counts as one. Go in the next one, do another one. That's two. The next one, do another one. That's three. And the next one. Okay, there's four double crochets in a row. And then my next one is the fifth one is going to have two double crochets in it. Now, four double crochets, one in a row, one in each of the next four stitches. And then the fifth stitch is going to have two double crochets in it. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way back to the beginning. Back around and I'm going to change colors this round. So I'm going to slip stitch into that chain three. Oh, flip. Finish my slip stitch with my new color. And pull a knot in the back. And do my chain three with my new color. And now it's going to be five double crochets, one in each of the next five stitches, and then our increase in the sixth stitch. So that chain three counts as one, so that makes two. Go over to the next stitch, three, next stitch four and the next stitch is five and then in the sixth stitch you do two doubles that's your increase just like that and then we're gonna do again five in a row there's two three four and five, and then the sixth one is going to be two doubles. That's going to be my increase. So go ahead and continue that. The five double crochets in a row, and then the sixth stitch should have the increase, two doubles in it. Okay, I went ahead and made it all the way around. Slip stitched under my beginning chain three. I'm going to chain three again. And this is going to be our last row of increases. So now we're going to be doing six double crochets in a row. And then on the seventh one is going to be the double. The increase, two doubles in one stitch. So this counts as one. It's two. Three. Four. Five. And six in a row, and then our increase is going to be on our seventh stitch. And it always falls, it's still falling, on the last increase of the previous round. So now we're going to do our six in a row again. And then increasing on our seventh with two doubles in the same stitch. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around. And then when you get to the end, just slip stitch in your beginning chain three and then tie off and hide your tails. Finished my circle. And you're going to need a total of four of these. Why you need four is. 
I wanted to make this this snail shell poofy, like kind of realistic looking, I guess, but poofier. So you have to make another one to sew on the back so you can stuff it with this fiber fill. So it doesn't, I just made the back side this solid color. So you need for sure, I mean, you can make them whatever colors you want, but you need to have for sure two that match because they're going to be, they're going to be on each side of the shell. And this is going to be the inside of your bag. So whatever color you want this to be. I just use solid green or you can do it all the same. But once you get four done, you want to sew them together. So put them where the bad sides are together. And the good sides are facing out. And that's how we're going to sew them. And you pick whatever color you want to sew it together and you're going to be able to see this thread because we're going to be sewing it on the outside so whatever color you want and put them together and put it to where the this is going to be inside of my bag so it's where oh, so to where that's facing me just like this and this is going to be the outside of my bag so you just start by any stitch you want to start in put your needle in it and then any stitch on the other one and put your needle in it and I'm just going to pull my yarn through both stitches. I'm going to chain one. Okay. We're going to be doing single crochet, one in every stitch, all the way around. And that's how we're going to sew them together. So I'm going to go back in the same spot and do a single crochet. And then I'm going to do one single crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to go into this one. And then go into the same one on the other side. I'm going to go into the next one and then the same stitch on the other circle and single crochet. Go into the next one and then the next one on the other circle, single crochet. Next one, next one. On, I'm just hiding this tail as I go to, but if you want to sew it in at the end, you can. Go into the next stitch. And then the next stitch on the other circle, single crochet. Next stitch, and then on the other circle, single crochet. So we're just going to do one single crochet in every stitch around. And we're going through both circles. That way we're sitting it sewed together. Let me clip this tail so it don't confuse you. See so yeah, how my needle is just going through both circles and then I'm just doing a single crochet and that's sewing it tightly together. So go ahead and do this all the way around, but when you get to the end, leave a little space here open, unsewed, so we can stuff it, and then we'll finish sewing it. So I'll just meet you up over here somewhere. Okay, I'm using some fiber fill, and I'm just stuffing up here, stuffing him. I left all this little spot. Now you don't want to overstuff him. You just want to kind of, you don't want to do it real tight, or the inside of your purse will be all too thick but just lightly stuff him a little bit I'm gonna have to work it around because it gets kind of lumpy extra right here so when I sew it up it'll be okay that's probably good 
Now just continue with the single crochet. Matching them up just like we did before. And close them up. Okay, coming to the end, and now you just want to slip stitch in your first single crochet, and then tie it off, and hide your tail, and like I said, you'll probably have to work it a little bit, because the stuffing around in there, but I'll do that a little bit later. Okay, and then you just tie your end off, and then you want to sew in your tail. Just weave it in a few times. Okay, that's what we got so far. Now what I want to do is we're going to do a couple rounds of double crochet like this. So you can just start anywhere you want or whatever stitch you want to start in. And do a chain three. I'm going to hide this tail as I go, and then we're just going to go around doing one double crochet in every stitch around, and that chain three is counting as a double crochet. Just like this. Okay, just continue that around. One double crochet and every stitch all the way around. And then when you get to here, we're just going to slip stitch into our chain three, chain three again, and go around one more time. So two rows like this of double crochet all the way around. And then you can tie off. With my shells done with the double crochet ring around them, and what's going to happen is that's how they're going to be put together later. And that's why I didn't want you to overstuff this so it wasn't so you could still put your hand in there like a bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will work on the body here.